Dear students, now let us understand what is ion exchange method. How can we apply it to separate lanthan? In ion exchange method, there remains a resin, this granules. See, in this diagram, the granules are shown. These granules are kept in one solvent and then they fugue out and we fill them in a burette. So it is this diagram C. It is a column, it is a resin column. What is the specialty of this resin? If you pass a solution through the resin, out of that many ions present in the solution, it will selectively take one kind of ion. I explain it. If you take a mineral water, it means a salt solution, say sodium chloride. And if you pass sodium chloride through the resin column, so that resin will absorb, will take, will adhere with only one kind of ion. If it is a cation exchange resin, then it will take only cation. Cations will be exchanged. Means it will take sodium and the cation present in it will be furnished out. And that cation in a resin, original form, a resin regenerated form remains H plus. So it will take Na plus accordingly it will give H plus. Second Na plus H plus. So all Na plus will be absorbed here in the resin. And what will come out? H plus will come out. So saline water, sodium chloride water, sodium chloride solution, pH was 7. If I pass to resin column, what I will get? Cl minus, nobody will ask for Cl minus. So Cl minus ion will come down. Na plus ions are trapped in the resin. So, in spite of Na plus, what is given by the resin? H plus. So, now what will be there in the beaker? Water, H plus ion, those that have given by the resin and Cl minus ion. So, it will be as, as good as HCl solution. Now, interesting. Pass this solution through other resin column. That resin is anion exchange. Here cations were exchanged, here anion will be exchanged. So which anion is present in the HCl solution? Which negative ion is present in the HCl solution? Cl minus. So it will take Cl minus and what will it give? That resin in a regenerated form remains in the OH minus. So Cl minus will be taken, OH minus will be given. Cl minus taken, OH minus will be given. How many Cl minus ions are there? Those many OH minus ions will be given. How many Na plus were there? Those many H plus came. How many Cl minus are here? Those many OH minus signs will come out. And when the solution will fall completely out from the resin, it will be free from Cl minus sign. In this, it was free from Na plus. Here, it is free from the Cl minus. And now, resultant solution will be water. It is a pure water. We can say deionized water. That is application of resin. In order to understand the, what resin is, I had given you this example. Truly, we need to discuss pressure of lanthanides by this ion exchange method. Now, answer for my question. Lanthanides are cations or anions? Cations. So, which resin will be used? Cation exchange resin will be used. So, cation exchange resin, its column is prepared. And through that, this lanthanide solution can be passed. So lanthanides will be what absorbed on the resin. Remaining thing will come out. But we want lanthanide outside. So what to do? If lanthanides are absorbed, if positive ions are absorbed, then to remove this positive ion, other positive ion we need to provide. And by provision of other positive ion, this ion will what come out. Lanthanides will what come out. And lanthanides can be what collected. That removal of cation from the cation exchange resin is called as elution. So, which eluting agent is used? How it works? That we will discuss now. So, what is our technique? Lanthanide solution is passed through the cation exchange resin. Cations will be absorbed and remaining solution will pass out. Then cations will be removed by elution method. But one problem is there. 
if simply we pass the lanthanide solution through the resin then separation is not sufficient so in order to separate them we need to add one more equilibrium and by that separation becomes effective so what is the principle involved for this method principle is lanthanides have a different tendency to form a complexes that tendency is used to separate the lanthanides in resin column dilution method is the same for all lanthanides it is our principle what is the technique used of lanthanide solution pass it through the resin column lanthanides will be absorbed but there is equilibrium now see here this resin remains with a acid means h plus ion means so3h form or cooh form where h plus can be removed and lanthanides can be this resin contains so3h or cooh group and hydrogen present here will be replaced by lanthanide the aqueous solution of the lanthanides is allowed to pass through this resin column so what will happen lanthanide ion will replace h plus ion from where h plus ion from so3h group or cooh group of resin and those lanthanides will get fixed in the resin form but it is not 100% absorption there is a equilibrium this equilibrium is represented by this equation see what is the equation ln plus 3 aqueated means in aqueous medium, plus hr h means protonated h plus ion content r for resin protonated resin it is in solid phase that gives ln r3 ln r3 means lanthanides are in the resin form solid form plus 3 h plus this h plus in aqueous medium ln r3 in solid medium hr solid medium and ln plus 3 aqueous medium so now also two mediums are there two phases are there one is aqueous phase and other is a solid phase so lanthanides are now distributed in two phases in two parts one part is a solid resin part other part is a aqueated part aqueous part solution part outside the resin part now in order to remove these lanthanides from the resin that i mean that process i said as elution so for elution eluting agent is used and that is a buffer solution is a plexing solution complex formation solution so ph remains 4 to 7 which buffer solution is used for the elution ammonium citrate and citric acid what is the purpose ammonium we want to remove lanthanides so ammonium is used and what is the use of citric acid citric acid to form a complex citrate ion can form chelates can form complex so one additional equilibrium can be established so ammonium citrate and citric acid buffer is passed through the solution so that lanthanides can be removed from the resin but it is not the one step process because there is equilibrium and wherever there is equilibrium if you disturb equilibrium then equilibrium will adjust in such a way there will be no change using this property we have to what remove all the lanthanides how lanthanides will be removed who will come how that iron will come first that also we will discuss let us discuss that point now. so what are the reactions ln r3 is solid form plus nh4 plus lanthanide will come out nh4 r of course 3 will be there and ln plus 3 will be free but this ln plus 3 will react with citrate ion to form lanthanide citrate complex these are the reactions when we use ammonium citrate and citric acid buffer now who will come first after elution whether lanthanum plus 3 or lutetium plus 3 that we will discuss now now let us come to the understanding for comparison purpose i take first lanthanoid la plus 3 and last lanthanoid lu plus 3 answer for my question among these two who is smaller where will be more charge density lu plus 3 who will form strong complex lu plus 3 what is the situation now in the resin column we have passed the lanthanide ions so lanthanide ions are in equilibrium with resin solid phase and aqueous phase solution phase but their separation is seldom separation is very poor in order to have the effective separation we are adding complexing agent as well as eluent so ammonium citrate and citric acid are used 
So whichever the land tenants in aqueous medium are there, which were there previously, now those land tenants will divide in two parts. Out of that few will go in the complex form and few will remain in the aqueous form. Neighboring land tenants have remarkably different tendency to form complexes. I come to neighboring land tenants, but among this lanthanum plus 3 and lutetium plus 3, who will form early complex? Lutetium plus 3. So lutetium plus 3 will have more tendency to form the complex. So lutetium plus 3 equilibrium will be one way and lanthanum plus 3 equilibrium will be other way. So when we pass the lanthanides, at that time, as per the size point of view, who should be absorbed first? Lutetium plus 3 or lanthanum plus 3? Lutetium plus 3. But it is not because hydrated ions remain there. Lutetium plus 3 hydrated becomes larger and lanthanum plus 3 hydrated becomes smaller. Hydrated becomes larger because of its more power, more water molecules around. More water molecules around, it is a size increase. Lanthanum plus 3 relatively less water molecules around, its size relatively is small. So, game reverse. Though bare lutetium plus 3, free lutetium plus 3 is smaller and has more tendency to form complexes. Here, lanthanum plus 3, occated lanthanum plus 3, hydrated lanthanum plus 3, which is smaller, will have more tendency to form the complexes. So, when the all ions are absorbed there on the resin and by any means suppose lanthanum plus 3 comes and here there remains a lutetium plus 3 this lanthanum plus 3 will say i have more ability to form a bond with resin so you go out so it will displace poor lutetium will come down and lanthanum plus 3 will be absorbed there on the resin in the solid form likewise process remains so anybody can come and I can ask lutetium to go out. You want ytterbium will come and say it is my place. You go out. So lutetium will come out. Lutetium will come out. At last, end of the period will come. And lutetium will come first. Then ytterbium will come. Then thulium will come. Terbium will come. So in the reverse order of the atomic number, the noids will be separated. Of course, they will be in the complex form. So how exactly this complex works? complex formation works. How separation become possible? That let us derive it mathematically. Ln plus 3 plus 3 HR gives Ln R3 plus H. Ln plus 3 see this equilibrium. For this equilibrium there will be one constant. For this equilibrium there will be distribution. Lanthanides are separated. Now in this equilibrium lanthanides are divided in two parts. One part resin part, solid part. Other part aqueous part, solution part. So distribution is between solid part and solution part. So distribution ratio D is equal to concentration one part, say solid part, divided by concentration other part, say solution part. A question. So distribution for first land D dash or any one land D dash is equal to concentration of lanthanide in the solid form. Which lanthanide? Ln dash. Divided by concentration of lanthanide. Again which lanthanide? Ln dash. In which part? Aqueous part. That is the distribution ratio for one land. Any one land, say ln dash. Similarly, distribution ratio for other lanthanides, d double dash is equal to concentration of lanthanide ln double dash in solid part divided by concentration of lanthanide ln double dash in liquid part or aqueous part. Concentration of lanthanide in aqueous part. Ratio of distribution ratio, what is that? Separation factor. So, separation factor is equal to d double dash upon d dash. And what is found? This separation factor is uh, nearly equal to 1. It seldomly departs from 1. If it is near to 1, then separation effectively is not possible. So we have to depart it from 1. We need to depart that S from 1. So how to do that? For that what we did? We added complexes. We formed the complex. Let me represent a formation of complex by this equation. By this reaction. What is the reaction? Ln plus 3 is aqueous medium plus NaA. AA is a chelating agent. Citrate ions are there now for representation. I consider AA. That gives a complex. Ln is lanthanide. AA chelating group. 
ties. So three groups are there or n you can consider n, n number of the chiliti groups ln a n. This is our new equilibrium. So in this equilibrium, the lanthanides are separated in two parts. One part complex part, other part aqueous part. Previously, resin part, solid part, and aqueous part over there. Now in aqueous part, also further two parts are there: complex part and free aqueous part. Now this complex formation, formation constant K is equal to concentration of lanthanide in this complex form is concentration of this complex divided by concentration of lanthanide acetate plus into concentration of the ligand raised to n. Now I simplify this equation. The numerator, that's the concentration of the complex in aqueous medium. Concentration of complex in aqueous medium is equal to formation constant K into concentration of lanthanides, free lanthanides in aqueous medium and concentration of ligand raised to n. For the sake of brevity, simplicity, charges are not represented but lanthanides with charges will be there. Positive charges will be there. Now, just now I said previously, before addition of complexing agent, lanthanides were aqueous medium. So, whoever are in aqueous medium, now because of complexing agent, they are divided in two parts. One part, complex part. Other part, free ion. So, previously, if you see the distribution, the distribution will change. If you see previous distribution, it will change. What is the formula for D? Concentration of lanthanide in the solid part divided by concentration of lanthanide in the aqueous part. Now, whichever in aqueous part, Denominator is there, which is at two parts, aqueous as well as complex. So I represent one, that's the capital D distribution ratio is equal to concentration of lanthanide in the solid part divided by concentration of lanthanide in aqueous part plus concentration of lanthanide in the complex part. So what is the concentration of lanthanide in the complex part? It means it's a complex concentration that in the previous equation that we have found. Substitute that value and simplify. What will you get? It's a distribution ratio. But this distribution ratio is a modified distribution ratio. New distribution ratio. Modified distribution ratio dm is equal to concentration of the lanthanides in the resin form divided by concentration of lanthanide in the aqueous medium, aqueous form, lanthanide aquated divided by concentration of lanthanide aquated in bracket 1 plus k into concentration of the ligand raised to n. Now if you see the thing which are in the bracket 1 plus k into concentration of ligand raised to n. k is a formation constant and that formation constant has a huge value, large value compared to 1. And ligand has also the considerable concentration raised to n. So it also will be large. So relative to 1, this value is very large. And suppose if you consider 10,000, 1 plus 10,000, which is nearly 10,000. So I simplify that. I do not consider this 1. One is negligible here. So modified distribution ratio dm is equal to concentration of lanthanide in the solid form divided by concentration of lanthanide in the aqueous form into k into concentration of the ligand raised to n. It is a general expression for modified distribution ratio. Let us come to particular. Particular expression means for particular one lanthanide say ln dash so for a lanthanide ln dash modified distribution ratio dm dash is equal to d dash divided by k dash into concentration of ligand raised to n for other lanthanide say ln double dash the expression will be modified distribution ratio dm double dash is equal to d double dash divided by k double dash into concentration of ligand raised to n. But in these separation methods, what is the most important thing? Most important thing is separation factor. What is separation factor? It is a ratio of distribution ratios. I want a modified separation factor. So modified separation factor SM is equal to B double dash modified divided by d dash modified which is equal to d double dash upon d dash into k dash upon k double dash what is d double dash upon d dash original previous separation factor before complex formation before new equilibrium 
तो सेपरेशन फैक्टर मॉडिफाइड सेपरेशन फैक्टर एस एम इज इक्वल टू एस इन टू के डैश अपॉन के डबल डैश वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एस इट वॉज नियरली वन नियरली वन देर फॉर ओनली वी कम टू द अदर मेथड देर फॉर वी एडेड वन इक्विलिब्रियम इन दैट ओरिजिनल इक्विलिब्रियम सो इट इज नियरली वन वॉट आर द वैल्यूज ऑफ के डैश एंड के डबल डैश दे आर लार्ज एंड कंसिडरेबल डिफरेंस इज देयर येस दैट इज अ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सेपरेशन बाय आई एन एक्सचेंज मेथड फॉर्मेशन कॉन्स्टंट और स्टेबिलिटी कॉन्स्टंट ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्सेस ऑफ नेबरिंग लेंथनाइड्स आर कंसिडरेबल डिफरेंट मीन्स के डैश एंड के डबल डैश आर डिफरेंट के डैश एंड के डबल डैश आर डिफरेंट देर फॉर वैल्यू ऑफ एस एम विल बी मे बी कंसिडरेबल लेस देन वन और विल बी मोर देन वन suppose if k dash is smaller compared to k double dash it will be considerably less than 1 if k dash is larger then it will be more than 1 considerably more than 1 and the tendency of lanthanides to form complexes is different among themselves this is the main thing by which we can separate these lanthanides so in order to prove the importance of complex formation importance of lanthanide citrate complex formation this mathematical expression is considered what did all properties extraction no separation let us see what are the applications of these lanthanides in next part